Oh, I think I felt a drop. It better not rain. I've been looking forward to the class camping trip all year. At least we got the tent up in time. Come on. Aw, oh, Zoe, it's just a little rain. I hate the rain. It's so totally unnecessary. Oh, it's necessary. The forest is an ecosystem. It is a community of animals, plants, and other organisms that interact with their environment. Rain is a huge factor in keeping it healthy. Well, it's also a huge factor in ruining my camping trip. You tell me why it's so important. All right. Well, an ecosystem like this forest is quite the masterpiece. Things called biotic and abiotic factors work together to make sure an ecosystem survives and flourishes. What does that have to do with rain? Rain is an abiotic factor. Abiotic means non-living. Rain, sunlight, temperature, minerals in the soil, they're all abiotic factors that help the ecosystem thrive. Without abiotic factors like rain, the plants in this ecosystem wouldn't be able to stay healthy or grow. Okay, I get ya. What's a biotic factor then? Biotic means living. The plants, animals, and even the bacteria found in the forest are all biotic factors. Together, they make up the community living in the ecosystem. There's a lot going on in this ecosystem, huh? Uh, yeah, a lot. Plants, animals, weather, bacteria, they each play a different role in helping the ecosystem. What do plants do? Plants are producers. They make food and oxygen for the animals. And animals? Animals are consumers. They eat the plants and other animals and give off carbon dioxide to help keep the plants alive. How is bacteria important? Ew. <laughs> Bacteria are decomposers. They break down the dead animals and plants and turn them into minerals that help things grow. That's pretty sweet. It is. Now do you understand why the rain is so important? Yeah, yeah. Without rain, plants couldn't survive in this ecosystem. See? The rain ain't so bad after all. But I'm still hating on it. Abiotic factor or not. Well, I guess the ecosystem is sort of a symphony of parts, abiotic and biotic. Rain, sunlight, and temperature are all abiotic or non-living factors that help an ecosystem survive. Plants, animals, and bacteria are all living or biotic factors. Biotic and abiotic factors work together for an ecosystem to survive and flourish. Exactly. And check it out. Aw, and just as I was starting to appreciate all that rain. Know what, though? Huh? The skies might be dry, but... Mud war!